The humility of what we do as, as, as human beings is always going to be trumped by nature and nature provided us just a gorgeous, gorgeous year to bring in fruit and make wine out of. The 2008 uh, Jordan Chardonnay is a combination of, of all the things we've learned for all the years we make in Chardonnay. You know, the, the, the things we've learned with Malactic, the things we've learned with barrels, the, 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 and in some ways the discipline we've learned about not trying to do too much, letting the fruit be the main component, not the manipulation in the cellar. Those things I think are, are help make us smile a lot when we finally taste this wine because it's not just one singular thing. It's like, God, we're finally coming around to making a really a great wine. The first thing that you're impressed with right away is, is the absence more than, the absence of, of what I think most people would expect. So this is what I see from so many of the consumers. They go, wow, this doesn't seem like a Chardonnay. And I said, doesn't seem like what kind of Chardonnay? Well, California Chardonnay. So, well, we're not, we're a California Chardonnay, but we're not a California style Chardonnay. First thing comes is this is beautiful, clean, fresh, um, inviting uh, fruit characteristics. And that draws you in. I think that's where the, the physical aspects of tasting when you're swirling and you're smelling, and you can see this in people that when they really like something, and it's, it's, um, I don't think it's conscious, but they'll go like this, and if they really like it, they put their nose even further into it. It's just like this, this little kind of wrench of the neck comes down to the glass, and I go, yes! Uh, because that, that's what, that's, that is the seduction of the wine. And that, f that first impression is, is so key, I think, to our wine, and why the 08 is just so phenomenal, because it's, it's so, um, has this, this just a delicious, nice balance of, of fruit characteristics that, that are, uh, are complementary of each other. Uh, and again, the, the palate is really the confirmation of what you smell. The peach, the pear work very well with the green apple. The, and again, you, there's an absence of this overladen buttery note, but there's just a little bit there. That it's, I think it's almost uh, unnoticeable, but it's one of those subconscious things that's happening. There's a little bit there that really works well with the oak uh, characteristic, but those are more of a backdrop to the fruit itself. Uh, it's dry as can be, but a lot of people still think there's a sweetness to the fruit, and I think it's just the quality of the fruit that's sweet, not uh, a residual sugar effect. So, um, you know, it's all a complete package. Two thousand eight really is a culmination of so many things we've done over the years, and we just hope hope you appreciate it as much as we do.